When I found the plunger, I was looking for something red. I was looking for this. <laughs> Watched the video. I was like, oh, right. That's right. I remember now. Let's see if we can figure out how to remember to use this. I think that's the right detent. Uh... Let's try. Where's my spring? Let's see here. Put this detent right here. Don't you go anywhere, pal. Let's get this bad boy here. Okay. I'm start you this way on the track. Okay, feed it in our spring, might not be the right spring, maybe it's too long, and then we feed in our detent, or well, the detent is not the right detent, insert plunger, turn upside, Good. All right, we're we're solid. All right, cool. Put that back in there. Put that spring back in there. Yeah, let's see. If we can knock this trigger out real quick. Uh, well, my guys, the slave pin work on this guy. Should universal? Yeah. We got that captured now. So, a little Bella style action. We tried to use a slave pin from the guys I was having trouble with it. So this punch is coming handy. Now, the trick is to apply some pressure on top while hammering it in. Let's try first. I want that thing going pooey. Nice and flush. No, oh, lost our capture. Okay. You know what I should have done? Capture it from the other side. It would have made a hell of a lot more sense. Okay. Should probably clean this with alcohol. Okay. Find your way, buddy. So how am I going to hammer this in with that EMR MB mag release there? That's blocking the process. Install trigger before the rest of the shit. Well, that's how you learn, I guess. I never had one of those MB mag releases before. It was always flush, so I never had an issue. Yeah, that's kind of blocking me. Not working, not working. Order of operations when it comes to running these EMRs is probably trigger than this. Because it's just up there enough where it's kind of blocking. So the only solution to that is to remove I just backed it up a couple twists and just moved it off to the side. 
this seems to be that's on safe okay where's our other pin and I think fell out easy take a look at this side I'll be lining up Back that up a little bit Okay, triggers installed. Test functionality. Wait, hold on. Let me restore this guy. Good. Uh, fire safe good fire safe There we go. Triggers installed. But the coolest thing about it is, it's got a little, little FCD. <laughs> I got a kick out of that duck, man. All right, triggers in. We're on safe. Seems functional. Bolt catch. Captured and functional EMRH. Is, is that right? Am I getting that right? EMRH and be mag. Do a quick test on a mag. Uh, let me get a unloaded mag, would be good. Okay. Got the ambi. Let's try a loaded mag because it has the weight. Wait a minute. All right, be careful. I know live ammo, there's no BCG or anything, but yeah, that comes out looking nice. Cool. All right, so there isn't really much left other than torque down the castle nut, install the trigger guard, figure out what to do with the upper, get all that battened up. We could be at the range by Saturday making horrible shots with a really nice weapon. <laughs> Cool, man. All right. We're getting there. Fire. Yeah, solid. Safe. I still need to take these off and do 45 degree. Just, you can just twist the tumbler around or some shit. Good to go. America. Hell yeah.